Hey guys, in this video, I will demonstrate how to retrieve an object from the backanalyst database and display the properties of this object in the UI. The use case is very straightforward. We will use a, spe a specific codeless block that retrieves first object from the database. In the database, what I have, if we switch to backhand and select the data section, there is a table called person that contains columns age and name with the corresponding values for one of the objects and right now there is only one object here so back to front end let's compose the ui it will consist of a button and uh, on the right hand side you will see the list of all the components select button drag it out here and also back in the toolbox select a uh, input component put it out here uh, that's this will contain name it will display the name uh, property the value for the name property and another one is going to be for age so click the first input component and change the label to name and then the second one change it to age since this is going to be display only we don't want to provide any editing of these values you can select this input components and select read only so it will just display this data and uh, this is it uh, at this point. We will also establish data binding, but that comes in next. Now click the button component and you can change the label to get first person object, just so we know what it does. Once again, uh, once the button is selected, click this little icon to go to the logic that will be executed uh, for this button. So click here and we are interested in the on click event, which is the event that occurs whenever user clicks on that button. Click the green uh, plus icon and this is going to be our logic. To retrieve that uh, person object from the database, if you uh, on the left hand side look under the back handless section, there is going to be data API and this block right here, third from the top, it does say get first object from table drag it out and then specify the table which is person as you can see whenever uh, you have a, a block that is shaped like this this indicates that it returns a value and uh, there is really nothing to connect it down to as you can see there is really no connectors here so what we will need to do is we, we will take that object that is returned from this block and we will put it into sort of like a shared storage that can be used by other UI components on that page. And that storage in our case will be page data, meaning that this, this is the storage for all the data that different components on that page can share. Under system object, find the set property in, and you can connect it now to the on click event. And we will be setting a property inside of page data. And the value is going to be that object that is returned. And we can just call this property person or person object. Okay. So what happens here is we retrieve this object from the database and we put it into this shared storage called page data, which is universally available for all components on that page. And uh, just remember that the property name is going to be person object. That, that's going to be important. Back to the UI. And at this point, let's just say that we click this button, we got this object that is in the shared space. So we need to display somehow the name value and the age value in these two fields. How do you go about this? Well, cl click that uh, input field and switch to the logic. And in here, you will see that there is a, a, a field here that is called value logic and it provides for data binding. Well, this is going to be some magic here. So remember that we put it into the shared storage with, an, uh, with a value person object. And also we know that there is a column called name in the person table. So what we can do is we can just bind to that name property. You can see right here. And likewise, we will do the same thing with the age input. So go to logic and then scroll down to the value logic and then put and do person object dot age so this extracts the object from shared storage from page data as you can see uh, it says here bind property value from the page data model so we were going to get this object in here and then look inside of this object to get the age property and let's just see how this works if we run this page in the preview mode 
and then we click this object. Now we see Joe and 30 displayed in our input fields. Very straightforward. Uh, this is very elementary and basic at this point, but it highlights some of the core concepts that exist in UI Builder uh, when it comes to using the codeless logic. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, happy codeless coding.